in continuation to our uh, in continuation to our previous example ace detection by using first order derivative method in this video lecture we will uh, learn the robots operator how robot operator we will apply on a digital image in order to predict in order to detect the age in a digital input image we will learn in this video lecture and for that we will use the same image as we have used for the gradient operator so let's start so first we will apply the robots plus 45 degree mask so in order to apply this mask on this given input image first we have extend this image which is boundary pixel value next the center of this mask the center of this mask we will place at all these object pixels and we will compute the response so first we will apply the center of this mask at this pixel by applying the center of this mask by applying the center of this mask at this pixel this pixel value 10 will be multiplied with this coefficient minus 1 and its and its diagonal element that is this pixel will be multiplied with this coefficient 1 so minus 10 plus 10 it give you the response that is 0 so for this particular pixel we have determined the response that is equals to 0 in the similar way if you determine the response for these pixels as well as for these pixels you will get the same response that is equals to minus 10 plus 10 that is equals to 0. So let me write the response for all these pixels that is equals to 0. Next, we will apply the center of this mask at this point. By applying the center of this mask at this pixel, this 10 will be multiplied with this coefficient minus 1. That is minus 10. And this pixel will be multiplied with this coefficient 1. So, so minus 10 plus 100, it gives you, you the result 90. So for this particular pixel, we have determined the response that is equals to 90. So let me write here 90. In the similar manner, if you determine the response for these four pixels, you will get the same response that is equals to 90. So let me write the response for this four pixel that is equals to 90. let me write uh, let me apply now next apply this we will apply the center of this mass at this point by applying the center of this mass at this point this pixel this pixel value 100 will be multiplied with this coefficient minus 1 that is minus 100 and this pixel value 100 will be multiplied with this coefficient 1 so minus 100 plus 100 it is equals to 0 so for this particular pixel we have determined the response that is equals to 0 in the similar manner if you determine the response for these four pixels as well as for these five pixels you will get the same response minus 100 plus 100 that is equals to 0 so let me write the response for these pixels that is equals to 0 next we will apply the center of this mass at this point by applying the center of this mass at this point this 100 will be multiplied with this coefficient minus 1 and this pixel value 10 will be multiplied with this coefficient 1 so minus 100 plus 10 it gives you the result minus 90 so for this particular pixel we have determined the response that is minus 90 in the similar way if you determine the response for these four pixels you will get the same response that is equals to minus 90 so let me write here minus 90 minus 90 minus 90 and minus 90 and let me name this response as rx in the similar way we will apply the roberts minus 45 degree mass so for the same we have already extended this image with this boundary pixel value 
Next, the center of this mask we will place at all these pixels and we will compute the response. First, we will apply the center of this mask at this point. By applying the center of this mask, by applying the center of this mask at this point, this pixel value 10 will be multiplied with this coefficient minus 1. And this pixel value 10 will be multiplied with this coefficient 1. So minus 10 plus 10 is equals to 0. So for this particular pixel, we have determined the response that is equals to 0. So let me write here 0. In the similar way, if you determine the response for these pixels, you will get the same response that is equals to 0. Similarly, if you determine the response for these pixels also, you will get the same response that is equals to 0. So let me write the response for these pixels which is equals to 0. Next, the center of this mass, we will place it here. By placing the center of this mass at this point, this pixel value 100 will be multiplied with this coefficient minus 1. And this pixel value 10 will be multiplied with this coefficient 1. So if you determine the overall response, it is minus 90. So for this particular pixel, we have determined the response that is minus 90. So let me write it here. Next, in the similar way, if you determine the response for these four pixels also, you will get the same response that is equals to minus 90. So let me write the response for these four pixels, which is equals to minus 90. Next, we will apply. Next, we will apply the center of this mass at this point. And if you compute the response, this 100 will be multiplied with this coefficient minus 1 and this 100 will be multiplied with this coefficient 1. So minus 100 plus 100 it becomes equals to 0. So for this particular pixel we have determined the response that is equals to 0. In the similar manner if you determine the response for these pixels you will get the same response that is equals to 0. So let me write the response for these pixels which is equals to 0. In the similar manner, if you apply the center of this mass at this point and if you compute the response, this pixel value, this pixel value 10 will be multiplied with this coefficient minus 1 and this pixel value 100 will be multiplied with this coefficient 1. So if you determine the overall response, it becomes 90. So for this particular pixel, we have determined the response that is equals to 90. In the similar way, if you determine the response for these four pixels, you will get the same response that is equals to 90. So let me write the response for these four pixel which is equals to 90. And let me name this matrix as RY. After determining the response due to the plus 45 degree mass and after determining the response due to the minus 45 degree mass, our next step is to determine the magnitude matrix for this Roberts operator. So this is RX matrix which we have obtained by uh, by applying the plus 45 degree Roberts mask and this is Ry which we have obtained by applying minus 45 degree Roberts operator. In order to compute the magnitude of Roberts operator we will use the approximate equation magnitude of the Roberts operator R approximate equals to mod Rx plus mod Ry and in order to draw this magnitude matrix 
for this robot operator we will use the same dimension that is the dimension of this rx and ry that is 5 cross 9. So this is my magnitude of the robots operator R. So we have to do, uh, so uh, first we have to perform the modulus operation on this Rx as well as modulus operation on this Ry and then we have to perform the simple addition. So by taking the modulus of Rx and modulus of Ry and if you perform the simple arithmetic addition, you will get the response 0, 0, 180, 0, 0, 180. 0 0 0 180 0 0 0 180 0 0 0 180 0 0 next 0 0 0 180 0 0 0 0 0 0 next 0 0 0 0 0 180 0 0 so for this given example we have computed the magnitude of the robots operator and after determining the magnitude of the robots operator our next step is to compare this magnitude matrix with the given input image so if you compare the magnitude matrix of this robot operator with this given input image Clearly you can see at the location of the edge you will get a much higher response compared to the surrounding. At this edge also you will get at this edge also you will get a much higher response compared to the surrounding. Similarly at this edge also you will get a much higher response compared to the surrounding. And as discussed earlier if you do a simple uh, conditional statement if you write a simple conditional statement f of xy greater than equals to some threshold quantity for this given example let me consider a threshold quantity that is equals to 160 so if you write this conditional statement such that if the pixel intensity at x comma y it is greater than equals to 160 we will make a conclusion we will make a decision that we have detected the a segment present in this given input image so if you apply this condition on this given input image clearly you can predict these are the location of these are the pixels which satisfy these conditions these are the pixel which satisfy this condition and in this given input image these are the location of a segment present in the given digital input image so with this robots operator is over next we will discuss the privet operator and sobel operator thank you